So today we're gonna to take our first look at actually playing some music. So, so far we've looked at how to set up the copper flute, we've looked at where your hands go, and then we've looked at running through a few different things to start getting our bearings around the flute. But today we're gonna to look at actually playing some music. So you've heard me say that you don't need a musical background to play the copper flute. And that's really, really correct. And we've looked at this, how if you have these two fingers down, every other note is correct. So they all work with each other. And so today we are gonna do a little exercise where instead of thinking in notes, instead of thinking in scales, we're going to think in emotion. We're going to think in pure raw expression. And we're going to translate that into what we're playing. And so one thing that I go to when I improvise is I may have the, some of the musical knowledge around what these notes are, but that's not at all what I'm thinking of. I'm never thinking I'm gonna to go to an F sharp or I'm gonna to go to a C or I'm gonna to go to a whatever. I'm thinking of a really emotionally charged scene. Two people height, at the height of an argument over a really important subject matter. And I may not dive into what the subject matter is even, I just, you know, I'm there and I'm seeing it. I'm relaying this conversation that they're having with each other. And so, we're gonna do that. So think about this. What's this person gonna say? I'm so angry at you. Right? And so even though I'm just I'm just moving my fingers around, basically, right? I am grabbing that emotion and translating it through my breath, through my fingers. And so you can think of your breath, right? And those kind of those bursts, those just emotional raw. And it's the same thing here. Right, and they finally break down and they're in tears and they just, and I challenge you to think of that and to practice on this. If you already know the notes, if you already know what you're doing musically, I challenge you even more to let go of the rigidity or the preconceived um, notions as right as many of them may be in their own arena, right? But in the arena, say Western music, Eastern music, this music, that music ultimately comes down to raw human expression and any laws or rules or whatever stipulations that are put onto that are auxiliary, are unnecessary. Maybe a fun addition, but you don't personally need them to express yourself. So whether you know music, whether you love music, you know, whether you've never played it, whether you play a thousand different instruments, I really challenge you to dig into this today. So maybe if if you're still doing the other uh, lessons, things running through the skit, running up and down the fingering and that low note, today, I want you to picture, you can make up the scenario, but I want you to picture two people in the heat of an argument, right? And that argument is something that they both feel so passionately about. And maybe they're not even arguing with each other, they're just raw and expressing their own emotional energy about the situation. I want you to translate that into what you play, okay? And that that's the speed. You're thinking of the way that they talk and, and maybe they say a lot and then they pull back and then no, actually, you know, and uh, maybe they're just pouring out their tears. But if you can free up your thinking mind that's a big thing. If you can step out of your analytical mind's way and just let 
the pure, raw emotional energy flow through you. Just try that. And don't think about it. Don't think about what you're going to play. Try not to do the translating yourself. Just let it happen. All right, so that's the lesson for today. Tomorrow, we're going to look at something else. All right, I'll see you soon.